breakfast na mko nakwambia sijaelewa. Joyce. Joyce. Kwa fikiru umeniekea mayai ndani. So. Ndio kuonekana kwa TV Joyce. Ndio kuonekana kwa TV. Nini hiyo? Rap Dabu, a.k.a. Mr. Worldwide, a.k.a. Mr. Twin One, a.k.a. a human being just like you. Um, this is my story, uh, and today we're going to focus on Rap Dabu and his journey, courtesy of Naibu Worldwide, from me to you. Now, folks, shoot manager, manager, you go. And uh, na kumbuka ni kianza ni lianza 2003. Um, before most of the viewers were born, which is so fortunate, so neza watanganya pia vanyi kulikuwa. Amtajua. <laughs> anyway, um, the passion for music really started uh, when I was so young. Uh, in our house, we could not not to Cheza, my dad used to play so much of Michael Jackson music, Michael Bolton music. Na nakumkara Christopher and Lizanga harmonies unatoanga wapi, the melodies unatoanga wapi and uh, I, I think it co rooted from your experience na na knowledge of music when I was so young. Yeah, well, let me go and say at all times. My name is Roderick, uh, the head manager uh, to Naiboy Worldwide. Uh, I met Michael back in 2003. Uh, the love for music, a little later Pamoja, back in high school. Uh, to kind of the first studio that was Scratch Records in Calif, uh, where Naiboy. Okay, Michael did his first song. El kwenye tuwa jiongoma, el kwenye mwa ufala ufala kidogo. Zitingisha, el kwenye jari bugenge ton. Back in two or three, ika kata. Studio time ili kwa expensive. Ika bidia meru di back to the drawing board. Kafungua studio mtaani. It was called uh, Dirty Fox Records. So from there on, studio ka, uh, I came ka, and uh, I was able to record myself because recording fee was 3,000 and 3,000 at that time was a lot of money. Na kumbuka so moja liku nani feed for a week. Kinunua skuma na 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 nyanya uni karanga uni chemsha kesho kesho kuto uni chemsha. Yo swingino ni Malaysia. Me baki baro na 50 bob. So a thousand. 3,000 was so, 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 so much money and getting that 3,000 to go back to the studio since you're an artist to take a queen by Leo in Bekesh was so difficult and getting that money was a problem. Tukas kumana nayo, mlima, ika kata, ika bidi rabdamo me rebrand tena, sasa ni studio, rebranding ayiku wanza na rabdamo to naiboy. Ilianza way back uh, from Dirty Fox to Kengia Pacho. I used to have the studio in my bedroom. Alafu landlord ilikuwa ilikuwa extension ya main house. So when I had it in my bedroom, landlord alikona leta noma do na make a noise. So one of the guys akongia na uzazi wake nzage shout out to you, shout out to your parents. Wakakubali tutumie garage yao. So I used to take my computer to their garage 
uh, anachukua speaker za radio zao anaeka hapo so here hizo ndio zilikuwa monitor speaker zetu and we used to produce yeah, tu wasani wa este to mingia unapata wasani wana record like every day lakini ngoma zina hit kwa este tunakuwa ma best kwa keja tulipeleka hizo mangoma kwa kwa radio kwa tv and nothing was being played lakini hatukukufa moyo cuz we really believed in what we were doing and um, during that time like i said kwa na equipment na kumbuka tukichanga pesa mimi na na, na fali to vinwe stand stand ilikuwa i think 1200 ndio tulichanga for a month ama si tulichanga for how long then struggles ilikuwa real but dream yetu na na, na passion na just wanting to be successful in this thing that we chose at that early stage was extremely na ilikuwa to give motivation ya keep on pushing when hurdles ilikuwa zina to face mob sana then as you fast forward i moved to buruburu yo back to where ilianzia maze pacho kwa ni boss iko nini tuko mtaani kwa harambe slash buru ndaje <laughs> 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 Hiyo ndio ilikuwa supermarket yetu. Ana ni poa na nikumbuka bado mazee. Hata tukiwa chini ya maji. 